Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss stability of a two-wheel vehicle. Now in this diagram you can see that there is a two-wheeled vehicle, a two-wheeler, right? These are the two wheels. We can see the two wheels. If it goes on a straight path, it will be like this. And if it takes a turn, so this is shown by the arrow, right? So what we have done, the viewer is at the rear end. So the same thing we have tried to draw on a diagram, right, in 2D. And because for a two-wheeler, when it is going straight from the rear end, you can see only one wheel. Right, we cannot see the other wheel because it is in one single line. So, if the viewer is at the rear end, when the vehicle is moving straight, we see the rear wheel. Right, so this is the rear wheel, and we see that it is rotating in the clockwise direction, and the speed is v kilometer per hour in the straight line. Right now, if it takes a turn about a track whose radius of curvature is denoted by capital R. So what happens? This wheel gets inclined. It gets inclined towards the inner side and the inclination is such the angle it makes with the vertical. We are saying that this angle is theta, right? Now what is small h? Small h is the height of center of mass of the vehicle and the ground. So this h, this is in the vertical direction. Now when the vehicle takes a turn, this edge is also turning. So this is the edge when the vehicle is taking the turn. So while doing the calculations, we are interested in the vertical height, which is edge cos theta, right? These are the alternate angles. If this is theta, this angle will also be theta. So this term is edge cos theta, right? And the horizontal component is the edge sine theta. This we'll discuss ahead. Right now, the angle which the vehicle makes with the vertical, which the center of the wheel makes with the vertical, is also known as the angle of heel. Right, radius of wheel is denoted by small r, and the angular velocity of wheels is denoted by omega e. Now, we have already discussed this diagram. Right, the wheels they are moving in the clockwise direction, the viewer is at the rear end the viewer is here right now the first thing that we have to calculate is the effect because of the gyroscopic couple due to wheels now because there are two rotating parts the one is the wheel and another one is the rotating parts of the engine so what is the formula for gyroscopic couple it is i omega omega p right so i in case of wheels if we are talking it will be i w Angular velocity of wheels is omega w and angular velocity of precision is omega p. Now, because this is a two wheeled vehicle, so there are two wheels, so this value will be multiplied by 2. And initially, the axis of spin was this, right? About this axis, your wheel was spinning or the rotating. Now, when the vehicle took the turn, this axis of rotation it moved to a new position. But we are concerned about the vertical axis, so we will get the theta component of this. So it becomes 2iw omega w omega p into cos theta. Right? Now the gyroscopic couple due to engine parts is again IE, that is the moment of inertia of the rotating parts of engine, omega e, angular velocity of engine rotating parts into omega p which is angular velocity of precision. Now again, the axis has changed. We have moved to a new axis. Therefore, the value becomes into cos theta. Now, the total gyroscopic couple will be sum of these two because omega p cos theta is common. We have taken it out from the bracket. You have to always keep in mind in questions, usually to confuse it is given if the direction of rotation of wheel and the direction of rotation of engine rotating parts is same, we use plus sign. If the direction is different, we use negative sign, right? So what is omega p? Angular velocity of precision is v upon r. r is the radius of curvature because this is the uh, axis along which the 
angular velocity of precision is changing right omega w is p upon r where small r is the radius of the wheel and gear ratio g that is omega e upon omega w driver upon the follower so we replace the value of omega e with g into omega w right and angular velocity of precision will re uh, replace by v upon capital r and omega w by v upon small r which is the radius of the wheel and after putting all the values this is the equation that we get this is the final value now this gyroscopic couple now we have to find the direction of this gyroscopic couple on the wheels so firstly we'll plot a vector diagram now from the rear end we know that the wheels are rotating clockwise so when you make the make use of this right hand screw rule you'll see that initially the velocity is in this direction which is oa right now when the vehicle takes a turn it is about this axis right this axis so we'll draw a line parallel to this axis and the rotation is again in the clockwise direction so again when we make use of the right hand screw rule the arrow will be in this direction so the reaction is sorry the resultant is a vector a b which is the direction of the active gyroscopic couple and the reaction will be b dash a dash which is the reactive gyroscopic couple now when you apply the right hand screw rule what we find that the direction of this couple is in the clockwise direction so its reaction will be in the it will try to overturn the vehicle in the outward direction so this force this clockwise force will try to throw the vehicle in the outward direction right so the next component we have to study is because of the centrifugal force and its value is mr omega p square where omega p is the angular velocity of precision denoted by v upon radius of curvature so we put the value now this centrifugal force will produce a couple which will be force into perpendicular distance so force into perpendicular distance which is h cos theta now what happens this centrifugal force it will produce a reaction right and this reaction will try to overturn the vehicle in the outward direction so because of this centrifugal force also the reaction will try to overturn the vehicle in outward direction which is same as the direction of the overturning couple generated because of the uh, gyroscopic couple so the total overturning couple on the vehicle will be because of the gyroscopic couple this is because of the rotating wheel this is because of the engine rotating parts plus the overturning couple because of the centrifugal force right so we add it up now the condition for stability says that this these two couples should be equal to the couple which is generated because of the weight of the body right so what is the weight of the body it is mg right in this case it is yes in this case also it is m g right which is acting perpendicular downward now to find the value along this axis it will be m g into perpendicular distance which is this h sin theta so this will be equal to m g h so as long as this condition is satisfied equilibrium is maintained and the vehicle both the wheels they maintain the contact with the ground if this condition is not fulfilled the vehicle will overturn in the outward direction thank you